What's going on? This is your boy Solo E, and I'm actually going to be showing you how you can literally get over 80k views. And I'm talking about 80k actual, real, solid, legit views from YouTube ads. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably have not really tagged on this and probably haven't really cared to but i'm gonna be honest with you guys if you want to grow a youtube channel this is probably one of the most efficient ways to grow your youtube channel so let's get into it so first and foremost i want to thank distro kid for sponsoring this video and i'm gonna talk more about distro kid later in this video so make sure you stick through so let's talk about a couple little things first i'm gonna talk about my success with youtube ads and of course i'm gonna talk about some other things and benefits that it can do to help you as a music artist or just in general so let's say that you are looking to establish a solid fan base or establish your brand just through strictly youtube well, guess what? YouTube marketing, YouTube ads, Google ads, Google AdWords is probably going to be that number one thing for you to do just because you're strictly focusing on growing your channel. Now, the benefit of growing your channel for music artists is, is huge because this is going to be the bread and butter. When you guys, let's say, present your music to A&R or you present your music to management, they want to see something. They want to see some content and the best content that you can put out is music videos or behind the scenes or anything where they can physically see you and see how you are as an artist. So if you are looking to establish that, then stick to this video all the way through. Now, another benefit is that, of course, you can gain a bunch of subscribers, but the huge benefit is why you're getting these ad campaigns going and you start establishing your brand through YouTube, what's gonna happen is YouTube algorithm is gonna pick it up and then it's gonna start manually doing it so you don't have to constantly keep paying every single month just to get on the recommendation homepage or just to get subscribers every month or views every month. YouTube is gonna pick up on that because they see people are reacting with your content with your channel from subscribers to comments to likes even to dislikes and to views of course so let's talk about it so the very first thing when you guys start is that you want to go and type in google adwords i don't know why i put the s there but you want to pretty much type in google adwords right and then you want to create you a google adword account now youtube google owns youtube of course so that is how we're going to be doing it so once you click here i already have an account but basically you would just go ahead and hit start now it's very simple the process is literally bada boom bada boom bada boom so one of the campaigns for just really to gain a bunch of subscribers would be what we call discovery ads now discovery ads are, are going to be the ads that you see that pop up pretty much on the very top if you use keywords it's going to pop up on the very top of the page or if you're let's say maybe searching a video or whatnot you're going to see it at the bottom of the video now that is what you will want if you want to gain subscribers now if you're looking for views and just views then skippable ads would be probably your best option skippable ads are basically the ads that pop up before a video shows now the beauty of skippable ads is that you will not be charged until they watch 30 seconds of the video. So that's a huge benefit. So that being said, your view rate will be a lot higher just because of that reason. Now, I'm gonna kind of show you guys how this back end works a little bit. Now, if you want more details on how to actually run YouTube ads, you can click the link down below to learn a lot more on that. But I'm gonna just kind of go through this a little bit um, in detail so you guys can kind of get going and get the process started. So the very first thing is, of course, that um, you have this home page here, right? And this will show all of your overall campaigns. When you guys uh, want to create a campaign, you want to come to this plus sign right here. And then you want to click new campaign. Once you click new campaign, you want to come over here where it says create a campaign without goal guidance. You don't want to select any of these just because you don't have much of the detailed information that you can enter when you decide to go with this option. So we're gonna click this, and then as you see, you pretty much got all of these different options, display, shopping, discovery, we're not gonna do none of these, we're just gonna do video. Now, 
with video, we're only going to focus on the subtype is going to be custom video campaign. We're not going to do any of these because we can do that inside the actual settings. So we're going to hit continue. And then now once we hit continue, the very first thing is you want to name your actual campaign. So what I like to do is I like to name campaign based off the video I'm doing. So we're going to do last time. And then what I also like to do is throw in or you could do last time music video. And then I like to throw in what type of campaign is this going to be? Is this going to be a discovery ad, a skippable ad, and so forth? So I'm going to just do discovery ad. So after you've done that process, that's very simple. The next thing is bid strategy. So with the bid strategy, maximum CPV, you just want to leave that how it is. Um, we're going to tag more down it. You have pretty much this option or targeted CPM. I highly recommend if you know what you're really doing, go ahead and hit target CPM. Otherwise, we're not going to care for that. Now, when it comes to budget, um, I don't really like to do campaign total just because you have a lot more control when you do a daily budget. Because when you do a campaign total, let's say you have a total budget, maybe of $500, which is cool, right? Then what's going to happen is you got to select an end date. So let's say you wanted to run it all the way up until the end of this month. What's well, Now what it's going to say is basically $50 is going to be running per day okay that's cool but i would rather do it in a daily way because now i have a little bit more control so if i want to let's say run a campaign um and my budget is 500 dollars, and i want to do it at the end of the month i know that i can do 50 dollars per day right however we're not going to do that guys we're doing a test run so as a test run i highly recommend you do anywhere from five dollars to ten dollars so if your budget is under let's say five thousand dollars per month do five dollars if it's over five thousand dollars per month do ten dollars per day for a test run we're going to do a test run and this test run is going to literally run from four to seven days all right so we're just going to do five dollars and then we're going to you can have an end date if you want to and since we're doing a test run we will have an end date so like what i said you just want to do an end date from seven days from now so let's see today's the 22nd so we're going to do it to the end of 29th because sometimes you might forget that you're running an ad and you don't want to do that Okay, wait, so are you looking to put out a new single or do you have a single that's coming out very soon? Well, guess what? DistroKid will be your best friend. I honestly use DistroKid all the time. And as you currently see on my DistroKid, let me show you right now. I have a new single that will be dropping August 31st called Ride. And literally that single, I decided to go with DistroKid. And the reason being is a lot of reasons but one of the big reasons is they have this option called splits now what is splits let's say that you back in the day never heard of distro kid distro kid never existed but back in the day let's say that you did a track and you had a producer that worked on a beat and let's say you had a feature on the track what usually happens is you have to get a actual contract made so that you guys will have the professionalism there as far as how much you're getting for percentages versus how much they're getting per percentages. So what you want to do is make sure that you have this contract. Uh, let's say I get 50 percent. The producer gets 20 percent and the feature gets 20 percent or whatever. Well, guess what? You don't have to do that anymore. It's very simple. Everything is literally all on a computer. You can just click a few buttons and get it going. So how it works is if you have a song that you're dropping, right? And you have a collaboration with a producer, with the engineer or whoever it is, you can literally just select the different percentages through DistroKid. So let's say you have a single that you want to put out and how that whole process works is let's go here. Let's go to splits and what will happen is you select your release. So let's say that for me, we will select this song here, hit next. Now, as you see, we can pretty much add our collaborations. So if I was to add an artist, let's say I add an artist and let's say that we agreed upon doing 50 50. So what we can do is we'll select 50% and then we'll hit review charges or review changes. So what that essentially means is, that invitation will get sent out to that producer or to that artist and then guess what they will also have the benefit of joining distro kid but have the benefit of getting 50 percent off so 
what that means is when they join they do get 50 percent off on the prices that they offer so if you guys want to use the link make sure you use the link down below and also additional to that you guys get a hundred percent of your royalties distro kid is not taking a penny they're not taking 1.000.1 percent they're not taking anything you guys get a hundred percent of your royalties so if you guys want to go ahead and sign up with distro k right now make sure you sign up with distro k because this split feature is huge especially if you guys want to do it the professional way all right so let's get back to it all right so next thing is location now this is where things get a little tricky because you know as an artist if you are a brand new artist and you honestly don't have like any type of content or you don't really know who your fan base or where your fan base is from or you know then you pretty much want to select pretty much the hot hot music country so i would pretty much say germany australia canada united kingdom united states and um even japan right so you can select these countries i wouldn't select any other countries but you can select these countries now i would not do all countries and territories just because i would be honest with you google will pretty much push to like the countries like India, um, um, Thailand, like those areas over there where this not going to really matter. So I would highly recommend getting these pretty much everything that you see right here and adding German or Japan on there as well. So once you have your location, the next thing is language. You can pretty much put English if you want to um, or you can just leave it how it is. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. But now what we're going to focus on is pretty much inventory type. So as inventory type, we're going to pretty much just go with the standard inventory. And I'll, I'll explain all this. If you guys want to watch more videos of this, just make sure you subscribe. And, it, I, you know, I'll explain all this later down the road. I just don't want this video to be too long. But <clears throat> other than that, guys, you pretty much have exclude type. So when it comes to this, you can exclude your videos from pretty much embedded YouTube videos or live videos. Um, live streaming videos, I highly recommend doing live streaming videos. Um just because you know if you want to you can uh but once again it really don't matter uh it's just really all about testing right so um other than that we pretty much going to skip related videos and then we're going to go into the actual ad group so the ad group we're going to leave this how it is for now because we got to figure out who we're going to target so demographics is key right so when you guys are um let's say you do know your audience maybe the best way to get your audience is from spotify um, but if you don't have like what I said, if you don't have that type of audience yet, simply just leave this how it is, right? 18 all the way up to 65 because we are going to figure out who is the actual audience demographics for our music or for our brand. So we're going to leave all of this check. If you know who it is, then that's fine. Now, don't don't do this. If you don't know, but you think, you know, don't do that because we are still testing right so we want to make sure that we get the best results so that's what we're going to do now audience guys so here's where you pretty much have the freedom to figuring out things so like what i said before keywords topics placements and audience i highly recommend doing really placements and keywords uh, for your testing just because you can figure out exactly who your audience is so what what is placements placements is basically when you guys let's say have an artist that you know for sure that you sound like or everybody's mentioning like okay i sound like this artist well guess what you can do placements placements is beautiful because you can be very 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 niche and target but i highly recommend this if you really know your actual audience right if you have an idea and people are telling you like yo you sound like this you sound like that then you can also do this but basically what it is is that you will basically go let's say maybe for instance we use the migos right we can either use their channel or their video so meaning if somebody was to select a video from the migos let's say we did uh let's say we searched up migos So let's say we search the Migos and we selected one of these videos. We can select a video and our ad will pop up only in this video. Only in this video. That's it. So you can go that route or you can go the other route where you can pretty much do channels. Right? So let's say we do, let's say we search up Travis Scott. So let's say we look at Travis Scott. So anytime everybody, anytime anybody watches a video through Travis Scott Vivo or Travis Scott YouTube channel, your ad will pop up. I like to do channels more than videos just because, um, to be honest with you, 
when you do a video it's cool and if the video is brand new that's even better but of course people's going to still re be rewatching videos and stuff but i think it's better to do the channel unless you have a super super target niche right then absolutely right then you would do videos but for me i think channels is huge and i think you guys should focus on channels so you can go that route now the other route is keywords keywords is basically artists is like you know whatever whoever your artist is, is I highly recommend doing B to C artists first because you want to figure this out and it's going to cost less just to get on the actual YouTube channel and all that stuff. So, um, once you figure out your actual audience, I highly recommend you at least get about four all the way up to 10, right? And then once you do that, you put it in here or you can do the uh, placement strategy as well. And once you figure that out, bidding. So, the maximum CPV bid is basically how much. Are you willing to bid per pretty much view right so I usually would highly recommend doing 0 0.08 and honestly sometimes not nine, nine times out of ten they won't even go all the way up there if you get the right actual artists like what I said focus on B artists a lot and you would definitely have probably like one cent per view or not even or up to about four cents per view right so then after that you pretty much want to get your videos and then you just enter your video here and once you do that like what I said before we're gonna do a discovery ad discovery ads are where we get the subscribers and everything like that but um, if you guys want to do skippable ads you absolutely can not like, like, like what I said in the beginning I highly recommend you guys do two campaigns you do a campaign for skippable ads and you do a campaign for video ads the reason being is because you want to obviously get the views and you want to obviously get the subscribers and this is all a test so you want to do a test on discovery and you want to do a test on skippable ads because you want to figure out who are your actual audience all right so other than that if you do let's say skippable ads you pretty much want to enter your um, video URL here and then video URL as well there and that's pretty much it right like what I said it's going to show just like this as you see that skip ad that's basically what it is video ad is basically going to show pretty much on a very 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 top of the keyword when you search it up or you know it will also show like on the video is exactly what you're seeing right here um, let's go back so you will see the video and then you'll see your ad show on the bottom of the video so like what I said you have those two options and then you will enter your you know music video name here description one description two and so forth so another thing final thing that we're going to do i know this video is a little longer than expected is if you look at weekly estimates this is basically telling you how much you can get per week off of literally just the um bidding that we did and the um daily budget that we put now i just want to show you guys if you were to change this let's say after your test run and you change this up to twenty dollars per day you can get around three to five K views per week. That's huge, right? And it's telling your average CPV, which meaning per view, you're at least looking at two cents to seven cents, seven cents. So, you know, figuring that out is huge. But like what I said, guys, um, make sure you rewatch this video if you need to. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to learn more about music marketing. Other than that, guys, I appreciate the love. Your boy, Celoe, I'm out.